How to play Kathy's song by Simon and Garfunkel and make it sound real. I hear the trees Now, the uh, playing style for this song revolves around a finger-picking template or a finger-picking pattern. And uh, the beats that are of interest to us is one, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. And also, one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and... So if you're planning to play along with the 1965 version of the song that was on the Simon and Garfunkel album at the time, you'll soon find out that that version is off pitch. It's off key. It's somewhere between F sharp and G. So if you think you've gone mad trying to get in tune with the record, you probably have. So I only use four basic chord shapes when I'm playing this song. That's G, C, D minor and D seventh. So let's say that we had a typical song. Not this one, but any song that you already know. And I uh, would say to you, uh, if you're playing through the verse, there are various stepping stones in that verse where you're going to have to do something. And that do something is usually change chord. Now in Kathy's song, there are stepping stones in each verse. And the events though that happen there are not chord changes necessarily. More often than not, you're actually playing the same chord, but you're adding an additional note into that chord. I hear the trees So the lyric chord sheet for this song is for me to lay out the lyrics, to number the stepping stones in each verse, and then to have a corresponding numbered chord window that shows you what you should be doing with your left hand as you land on each of those stepping stones. Don't forget to check out patreon.com slash channel where you will find additional training material including the lyric and chord sheet. Now that just leaves me to say thanks for watching, good luck with the song, uh, my name is Greg and I do hope to see you again soon.